All right, what is going on, y'all? It's your boy Young Twan, and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'll be breaking down this Qbeats type sample that I made. It's pretty hard. It kind of reminds me of like some Kodak Black type of Qbeats Southside type of production. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get straight to it. So before we go any further, I'm just gonna play the final sample. This is what it sounds like. So first what I did, I opened up Analog Lab and I picked this Scary Hours preset from Louis Flynn. And I pretty much got these notes down right here. And it sounds like this without any effects. So yeah, it doesn't sound too, too good, but then I added a couple of effects. I added this fab filter, uh, cutting some of the highs out and some of these harsh frequencies. A halftime, H910 dual harmonizer, reverb intensity uh, with this infinity preset by turn down the mix so that the reverb is not so, so big. And then finally, a, a fab filter EQ cutting the lows out, uh, which sounds like this now. So yeah, it sounds very kind of like ominous and very mysterious. And then I opened up Analog Lab again, and I picked this Bryson preset again from the Louis Flynn contact, I mean, Analog Lab library. And pretty much I had this very kind of like ambient sound uh, with the first preset. Now I wanted some more kind of chords, more like a foundation uh, to support that kind of just ambient sound. So uh, yeah, here's what it sounds like without any effects. So yeah, as you can see, it's just the same notes, but I just uh, muted a lot of the top notes. And then I added these effects. I added an EQ uh, with the high cut preset and also cutting some of the lows. Uh, Good Hertz Wow Control. This plugin adds a lot of detune, a bit of gain, and a, a lot of coloring and saturation. I added this shaper box with the pan uh, automation that just automates the pan and makes it move from like left to right. Outer space, this is just like a delay and uh, fab filter cutting some of these frequencies. The delay, also the mix was turned down, so this is what it sounds like now. So yeah, then I opened up Analog Lab again and I picked this Bryson preset again. And this time I used all the notes and I also pushed it a couple octaves up. And, or no, just one octave actually. And I added these effects. I added a fab filter again, cutting some of the highs out on these frequencies. A half time H910 dual harmonizer uh, with this overdriver preset. Another EQ cutting this frequency right here is a pretty harsh frequency. I wanted to get rid of it. And then I used this Goodhurst Wow Control again, just to you know to add some detune, a bit of coloring. I added this Stereo One Imager from Waves just to you know make it sound more full in the ears. Another EQ to try to get rid of this frequency right here that was bothering me. And then another stock EQ just trying to like dampen these uh, frequencies right here. So this is what it sounds like with the effects. Then I wanted to add like a lead melody or like a top melody to make it more interesting and also add like different parts to the sample. So I picked this Passion Flute from Contact. Uh, it's a really dope flute uh, contact library. And I pretty much copied and pasted the same MIDI but just kept the top notes. And uh, this is what it sounds like without any effects.
So yeah, this is such a dope contact library because if you listen closely, at some points when the flute just stops playing, you can hear like the person like taking a, a breath or something. It really just adds a lot of realism to it. Uh, then I added a couple of effects. I added this pre-child compressor from Waves, this EQ uh, just to cut some of the low frequencies, a good hertz wild control again, just to add some coloring and saturation. This Echo Boy with this classic tape, Slap 30. Uh, preset just cut turning down the mix a little bit and then finally an EQ uh, to take off uh, this low end right here folks and uh, yeah this is what it sounds like with the effects now So yeah, you can see the compressor just bringing the sound up and gluing everything together. And also the coloring and the saturation from the Goodhurst Wow Control helps to kind of give that vintage sound. And the last element I added to this sample is this percussion loop from Only One. And I pitched it down one octave and turned it down. Also added a couple of effects. I added this. I added some EQs to get rid of the highs and the lows. And then I added this reverb intensity with this lo-fi room preset, turning down the mix a little bit. And another EQ to cut some of the highs. And uh, in the end, it sounds like this. and without any effects. Yeah, you can see there's just, you can hear the kick, there's just too much low end. Uh, what I really like about this percussion loop is that it was spaced out, so it's not so busy and it doesn't interfere too much with the melodies. And then yeah, I just bounced the whole thing out and I added these final effects. I'll just show you guys what it sounds like without any effects. So yeah, for the master effects, I added this Gerdhurst Wow Control, adding a bit of detune, not so much coloring and saturation, but just also adding some noise. I added this spin plugin with the default preset. It just kind of like gives it a bit more movement and a bit of drive, as you can see, a bit of saturation with this. Turned down the mix to 15%, just so that it's pretty subtle. Lastly, I added this plugin that I actually really never used, but I did for this one. It's this plugin called Back Mask. And I turned down the mix to 12%, so it's very subtle, but it gives a really, really nice texture texture to the flute it gives like a bit of delay and lastly i added this j37 tape emulation from waves uh, with this aquarium preset but turning down the mix quite a lot because this preset is quite strong so yeah you want to keep it low and uh yeah this is the final sample Real quick though, before I end this video, let's throw some drums on it. That's pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy the video and the sample, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to run up my social medias. Link will be in the description down below. And yeah, thank you guys for the support, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>